My name is Eve Ferraz, and I'm the marketing manager at ProLights. Welcome to the theatrical lighting webinar. Today, we're gonna to talk about our theatrical lighting range. That includes LED ellipsoidals, LED fresnels, and LED cyclorama lights. But first, let's see a bit of history about theater. Throughout time, humans sought ways to entertain each other. Theater is a fundamental part of world culture and is extremely important to most countries worldwide. Theater technologies have evolved incredibly over the past few years. From lighting consoles to lanterns, lighting equipment has become incredibly complex and requires a lot of modern technology. LEDs have become an important sample of that advancement and their acceptance has increased exponentially over the past 10 years. Companies have rushed to keep up with the technology through the 90s and early 2000s, and there is now a wide offering of equipment manufactured in many different countries. ProLight wants to be part of this evolution and has created an exciting new range of products speci specifically thought out to the theatrical productions. So on the ProLight range, that includes LED upsoidals, LED fresnels, cyclorama, and PAR uh, fixtures. Let's look now at our LED ellipsoidals, starting with the ECL profile City Plus. So the ECL uh, profile City Plus is one of our newest features at ProLights in the theatrical uh, lighting range. Let's have a look at the quick overview on this picture. So the ECL profile City Plus is a high quality six color LED ellipsoidal with tunable whites and color mixing. The feature includes Luxium C emitters, so 96 3 watt 6 color custom LED sources uh, with red, green, blue, royal blue, mint, and PC amber. We also have a lot of uh, color gels pre built inside the feature as well, and we have tungsten emulation on dimming to really kind of mimic the old uh, lanterns, the old uh, ellipsoidals uh, from, uh, from kind of the history of theatrical uh, backgrounds. We also have multiple lenses available for these features. Uh, the ECL Profile City Plus is compatible with third-party third uh, lenses, but we have high-definition lenses specifically made for the type of sources that we have inside this feature. So that includes a five-degree lens, 10-degree, 14, 19, 26, 36, 50, and 70-degree uh, lenses. We also have two zoom lenses, so one from 15 degree to 30 degree, and one from 25 degree to 50 degree. On these pictures, we also have built uh, wide presets, so from linear CCT from uh, 2,800 Kelvin, upwards of 10,000 Kelvin, with a very high CRI, up to 97 uh, CRI values. We also have tint control with plus or minus green adjustments built in to the ECL profile City Plus. Looking at the accessories, uh, we have a wide uh, range of accessories av available for this uh, feature. So starting with our soft focus diffusion kit. What it does is it blends in the uh, LEDs from this source and kind of allows to have a, a very uh, smooth source coming out of the uh, lens barrel. As I said before, we also have a lot of the uh, high definition lens barrel accessories and the zoom um, optics as well. And we also have a gel filter frame included uh, with this picture, uh, gobble holders, drop-in iris accessories, soft edge filter to kind of blend in the, uh, the edges of the, uh, the beam uh, when it hits the floor, when it hits the wall, along with the common accessory like uh, flight case, uh, flight cases for lenses as well, and a firmware uh, tool to kind of update the uh, firmware of these uh, fixtures. In terms of the uh, lens barrels, as we can see here, so we have from a very tight barrel of uh, five degrees, so if we want to use as kind of a long, th uh, long uh, throw projection from the back of the, uh, the theater, for example, to 10 degree, 14 degree, and then obviously the common 19, 26, and 30 degree uh, lens barrels as well, a 50 and a very wide kind of 70 degree lens barrel available for these uh, units. The uh, high definition zoom lenses range from 15 degree to 30 degree zoom, and we also have a 25 to 50 degree uh, zoom lens barrels available for the uh, units. So looking at the construction um, of the uh, body and kind of the, uh, the filter, the homogenizer filter, as we can see here in this video. So the filter, uh, what it does, it kind of works as a beam homogenizer. So the accessory can be mounted in a metal frame uh, with magnets and installed inside the fixture body at the front gates of the optical mixer. So just behind the, uh, 
the lens barrel access you can see here, and then you can quickly fit that uh, accessory onto the unit, uh, lock it down, and then we'll see ahead how we kind of changes the uh, output of the, uh, of the source. So as you can see here, uh, two pictures, one on the left with the filter and without the filter. So it, it is really used to kind of hide the multiple color beams coming out of the uh, front lens barrel. So you just infer, insert the, uh, the filter and it will get kind of a perfectly mixed output uh, straight out from the uh, lens without seeing the different colors of the, uh, the LEDs. So in terms of the uh, six uh, color engine uh, on the uh, ECL Profile CD Plus, so we, um, that in the, the 96 emitters, so the red, green, blue, PC Ember, Royal Blue and Mint LEDs, uh, we can render kind of a wider uh, color gamut with precise colors and most importantly a higher quality across the entire correlated color temperature. The primaries are composing the uh, light source have kind of been picked to further enhance uh, the uh, color space, uh, kind of reaching a 20% increased gamut with a very rich uh, color spectrum. In terms of the uh, calibration of the LEDs, uh, so actually each individual ECL profile, CT Plus, is calibrated here in Italy, in Minturno, by qualified engineers in order to get the best achievable performance out of every luminaire and to ensure a perfect consistency from unit to unit on every batch. So whether you've bought an ECL profile CT Plus or you're planning to buy an ECL CT Plus in a year, two years down the line, we're able to kind of fully cal calibrate and keep the history, the records, of those fixtures and match those fixtures when they get to your theater so there's no mismatch uh, between the different uh, units. We also have uh, two different modes on the CL Profile City Plus, so two operation modes, and they optimize the light source performance on various applications. So we have a high quality mode providing a high color rendering, so an average of 95 CRI, and a high brightness mode providing kind of a boosted output of upwards of 30% output with a slightly lower color rendering as well. The users can select different uh, modes as well, so different fan modes, from silent, uh, balance mode, auto mode, or full mode. Uh, so depending on what type of environment you are working, you, the, you can adjust the fan to the different uh, settings as well. So that was it on the uh, ECL City Plus. You can find more information on the ProLights website at ProLights.it. So up next, let's look at the ECL profile FW. So the ECL Profile FW uh, is our unit uh, that we've made just for uh, kind of a fixed uh, white colors. So we have two different versions available, a daylight and a tungsten unit available. Let's look at the differences now. So the ECL uh, FW uses the same body as the ECL CT Plus, but we only have two variants, as I said, the warm white and the cold white version. All of the accessories and lenses from the CT Plus are compatible with the FW series as well. So looking at the uh, units individually, uh, so you can see it's a high quality full white LED ellipsoidal with tungsten and daylight versions. That's a 91 3 watt uh, LED emitters. On the tungsten, we have a 3200 Kelvin color temperature. And on the daylight version, we have a 5600 Kelvin color temperature with very high lumen outputs and the superior quality of whites. So in terms of the outputs uh, for these units in the white points, is much brighter than the ECL CD Plus because the emitters are specifically just for these colors. So obviously all of the power is concentrated on the daylights or on the tungsten versions as well. We can use all of the accessories. So all of the lenses, uh, whether it's the fixed lens, the uh, fixed angles or the zoom lenses, we can use on the ECL uh, FW as well. We also have the uh, shutter systems and we have the different fan modes available for these units as well. Let's look now at the uh, different colors. So as you can see, kind of the uh, uh, tungsten units, it's a 3,200 Kelvin color temperature. And then the uh, daylight version is a 5,600 Kelvin color temperature as well. We have extremely high uh, CRI and TLCI values on all of these units. So you can find the photometrics on our website. Uh, on this version, the TM30 value is 91.3. The CRI value is 97, so a very high CRI. Um, with a kind of a very wide, um, a very powerful output on the specific color. Again, because the LEDs are specifically with daylight or tungsten versions as well. Let's look at the uh, dimming on these units. So these units were thought to have kind of a very smooth 
uh, dimming curve. So as we can see here, uh, from uh, full to uh, zero in 10 seconds, as you can see, there is no flicker whatsoever. So they were really kind of designed to mimic all of the classical tanks and features uh, that you've, you've probably already used before, uh, but with LED technology made for kind of broadcast theatrical applications. Uh, so a very kind of wide range uh, of applications uh, still maintaining kind of all of that software that allows for the smooth dimming uh, for no flicker on ultra high definition cameras, et cetera, et cetera. So you can find more information about the CL Profile FW on our website, again, prolights.it, and just head to our stage lighting uh, section on the website and you'll find all of the information for these units there. So now let's look at the CL Psychorama units. So the ECL Psychorama units are comprised by uh, two different uh, versions. So we have the ECL Psychorama 100 and the ECL Psychorama uh, 50. So looking at the differences between the two, uh, so ECL Psychorama 100 is a 330 watt uh, LED and the uh, 50 is a 150 watt uh, linear soft LED uh, floodlight with RGBW um, or rather RGB warm white color mixing system. Very high CRI again, so a CRI of 93 um, at 3,200 Kelvin and very bright colors. They were made with a slim design, so it's only uh, 11 centimeter uh, height um, and that's used kind of for easy implementation in front or at the end of the stage. We have a wide asymmetric beam angle to allow flexible installations at modular distances between the fixtures. We'll look at that setup a little bit further ahead in the uh, presentation. We also have tilt angle adjustments. So we have little rubber feet on the bottom of the units where you can tilt the unit forwards um, as well. We have uh, options for beam control um, and flexible hanging accessories as well. We can also use these units in kind of a ground stacking application. We'll look at the accessories, uh, the accessories rather ahead in the uh, presentation. So here we are. Uh, so we can see there's a, starting from the pole operated aluminum yoke brackets. Uh, we also have a, a little uh, kind of a light diffuser uh, filter that we can put on top of the 50 or of the 100. We can also have uh, barn doors to kind of uh, alter uh, the angle of the uh, beam out of the unit. And then we have all of the accessories for mounting, uh, fly case accessories, etc., etc. Let's look a little bit on the colors and the, uh, the CCT range of these fixtures as well. So as you can see here, from 2,800 Kelvin to 6,500 Kelvin, we have a wide uh, range of whites. And then we can create very saturated colors or kind of beautiful pastels using that warm white chip that we have available on these fixtures. In terms of mounting the units, ECL Club Psychorama is designed with a special optical system and the hardware mechanisms that allow triple free user experience and focused uh, installation focus on kind of a positive experience for the users. The features can be installed in distance from the wall, starting from one up to three meters, and they can be spaced among each other uh, with no distance or up to three meters without really seeing any uh, dark uh, spots uh, or anything like that. So it's a very wide kind of asymmetric uh, angle. So uh, whether, it, whether they're all together or kind of spaced apart, you can see they, the colors and the units blend very well together on a white wall or any cyclorama um, background. It's very small design, so as I said before, only 11 centimeters uh, of height, uh, so it's an extremely small dimension. You can see here comparing with a, a piece of a gaffer tape. Um, so it can be placed anywhere, whether it's a catwalk, whether it's in front of the stage, whether it's upstage, uh, so using as a cyclorama light or using as a kind of a footlight, uh, it can really blend in in any scenario or any set. Uh, whether it's on TV, theater, or a kind of any corporate gig as well. So in terms of the accessories, um, we can have, we can uh, uh, ground, uh, so we can put the units on the ground uh, rather, or hang the units uh, from a truss, so using that uh, Omega uh, clamp accessory, uh, or we can also use these units as a, with a pole operated uh, yoke, so we can control the uh, pan and the tilt of these units using kind of that uh, yoke accessory rigged onto the actual units. So all of this information, again, can be found on our website, superlights.it. Just uh, go to the ECL100 or ECL50 
uh, products and you can find all of these. You can find all of the data sheets, user manuals, DMX charts. Uh, we also have a lot of the uh, personality files for all of the uh, industry standard desks, uh, anything like that. You can also find the uh, photometrics uh, for each one of these fixtures and kind of really see how impressive their output is. Um, so not only in theory, but in uh, practicality as well. So finally, let's look at our ECL Fresnel range. So the ECL Fresnel uh, range is comprised of a lot of different units. Uh, so please do bear with me as I go through all of the different ones. Uh, we have uh, different sources, we have different size uh, of Fresnels. Uh, it will be easier to understand as you kind of get familiar with the range as well. So starting off, off with, the, uh, with the available versions on the color temperatures. So we can have static daylight versions. We can have static tungsten uh, variants as well, along with the tunable whites with colors. So kind of the uh, full color uh, versions of the uh, ECL Fresnel. So you can distinguish uh, all of these versions with the letters TU, DY or TW. So TU will be our tungsten versions. DY will be our daylight variants and TW will be the full color uh, tunable white uh, with color version uh, of the ECL Fresnels. So looking and starting with the uh, 2K Fresnel. So the 2K Fresnel is an LED uh, Fresnel with a uh, HP white source or full color uh, tunable white with color correction. And that really replaces kind of a, a 2000 watt uh, lamp. So we have three versions, so the TU, DY and TW. Um, the first two, so that's a 500 watt high power uh, white LED. We have um, a 3000 Kelvin version and we have a 5600 Kelvin uh, version available on the daylight variants. On the uh, TW version, so that's a 500 watt engine as well, so six color uh, LED source engine. Uh, we have a CCT range from 2800 Kelvin upwards of 10,000 Kelvin as well. All of these three fixtures have a lens diameter of 250 millimeters. So looking ahead, on the ECL Fresnel. Um, that's our units to replace the 1000 watt uh, lamps. Uh, again, we have the TU version, DU white version, um, and TW versions. So starting with the first two, that's a 230 watt high powered LED. Again, 3200 Kelvin, 5600 Kelvin versions. And then the uh, six color uh, custom LED source, so the TW version, that's a 230 um, LED engine with CCT from 2800 Kelvin upwards of 10,000 Kelvin as well. All three units have a lens diameter of 200 millimeter. Moving on to the CL uh, Fresnel Junior. Uh, that's a unit that replaces kind of the conventional 650 watt lamps. So 70 watt um, LED engine on the uh, TU and DY versions. So 3,200 Kelvin, 5,600 Kelvin. And then the uh, full colored version uh, that's a 130 watts uh, six color engine uh, with a CCT range so similar to the previous two units, 2,800 Kelvin upwards of 10,000 Kelvin, all three units with a lens diameter of 150 millimeters. Finally, we have the ECL Fresnel Junior, uh, excuse me, the ECL Mini Fresnel uh, rather. So that unit replaces a conventional 300 watt um, LED uh, Fresnel, uh, or, or rather a conventional uh, Fresnel of 300 watts. Uh, we have three versions as, as well, so a 40 watt uh, tungsten or daylight version. Uh, here the color temperature changes a little bit, so the tungsten version is 3050 Kelvin, and the, the, the daylight version is a 5000 Kelvin source. The full color is a 70 watt engine. Um, the, mix, the color mixing system here is a little bit different as well. So it's an RGB plus lime LED um, engine with a CCT control, again, from 2,800 to 10,000 Kelvin. And all three units have a lens diameter of 100 millimeters. So looking a bit of how uh, all of these units look like on camera at the different white points. So as we can see here, the uh, tungsten version, so the 3,200 3, Kelvin, it uh, looks like a, kind of a very warm um, uh, kind of tungsten look. The uh, TW version in 4000 Kelvin kind of looks like a, a very neutral uh, tone with the daylight version at uh, 5600 Kelvin, uh, having kind of a more kind of cool um, tone onto your object or onto your person as well. We also have uh, pole operated uh, features. 
not all of these features are polar operators, so I'm going to tell you about the differences. But when they are, we can control tilt, uh, pan position, and zoom range as well with the uh, the kind of the polar operator mechanism. So these are the uh, units that are uh, polar operators. So when they are polar operators, you'll see a little P in front of the uh, names as well. So ECL for now, 2K, P for polar operators. So we have a tungsten daylights and uh, full color version. The ECL for now, P, so again, that was the one that replaces the 1000 watt uh, sources. We also have a tungsten daylight and a uh, variable color uh, version as well. And then the ECL for now, junior, again P for the pull operators, we have a tungsten, daylight or full color as well. In terms of the uh, zoom range uh, and the zoom operation, I'm going to show you a little video that explains that. So there's a little knob on the side of all of the features. We can control the uh, zoom range through that kind of very, very easily. Again, if it's the uh, pull operated version, we can control the zoom range uh, with the uh, pull uh, specifically and kind of change that um, as the unit is, uh, is hanged uh, on your grid. So that's it on the uh, ECL Fresnel range. I hope uh, that kind of clarified um, some of the doubts that uh, you may have had. Uh, all of this information is available on our websites at prolights.it. That includes all of the uh, data sheets, um, all of the uh, DMX charts, user manuals, personality files, photometrics, etc. If you cannot find any specific information on the website, please feel free to kind of reach out to us and we'll be able to help you in the best way that we can. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.